Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about a cool zip file cracking tool which is named as fcrackzip. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all really really thank you for all your support. If you do like this video, make sure you like it and for more amazing content like this, do subscribe to the channel and if you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn and if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. Recently, while solving a box, I found out a zip file and uh, that, zip, zip, that zip file is kind of encrypted with some kind of password and it consists of some kind of a file uh, which I further used it to exploit and gain the access. So, but the initial part is like how you need to get uh, like crack that particular zip file. So what happens is like sometimes on the production servers mostly you'll find the uh, file extensions like uh, uh, .zip or whatever it is. So first of all, uh, I'll show you how you can make use of this tool. So fcrackzip is like a quite popular tool. So it's been there for a while. So I'll be opening my terminal here. So as a root. So you can feel free to use it. It is also available on... Uh, uh, ubuntu so i even tried it on ubuntu and it is working fine so you can try it on whatever you want so everything is fine so just install it so apt install fcrack zip and uh, you will be good to go if you are not get if you are getting any kind of issues like a package not found or something like that uh, just try to uh, update it so apt update uh, since i am root here so i am not providing any sudo but if you are not a root so you need to provide it okay so and then come to the important part so how you can run that i got couple of files here so uh, let me open my folder here so you can see there are some couple of files uh, ignore some other files but you can see there is a secret.zip and secret1.7z so 7z is also some kind of a format so if you are a bit familiar so 7z is a kind of an application so it's like an open source alternative for uh, winrar so you can even they have their own file extensions and uh, even with the dot uh, 7z you can encrypt the file so whatever it is it's fine so i have both of those files so i'll show you what we can do so first of all let's go to the location so cd home kali so this is the location where those files are uh, these uh, archived files are available so dot zip or compressed files are available dot 7z and uh, if you try to do unzip so unzip secret dot zip okay so it will be asking you for password we don't know it so control c and we came out but uh, fcrack zip is the main purpose is to crack this zip file so there are other tools as well which i will be covering in the next parts of uh, the series so uh, as of now we'll be discussing about fcrack zip so fcrack zip uh, you can see some kind of uh, syntax here so hyphen hyphen help cause i've been using this tool for a while so whenever you get any tool or whenever you uh, got introduced to a new tool just look into the help menu so you'll be getting uh, some information about it so it's version one and you can see there are some options like you can do a brute force attack okay which i won't recommend you but uh, if you want if you are in a relent uh, if you are in a situation where you were unable to crack it even this is an option and one is a dictionary based attack so uh, like you need to provide a word list but in the brute force attack you need to provide some kind of variables and stuff so let me uh, in the brute force attack you need to uh, provide some kind of characters like uh, a for alphabet one for uh, digits and something like that i'll be showing you how you can do that and uh, some character c in first the character set so when you set this uh, brute force option you need to set an option hyphen c and you need to provide the character sets uh, which it uses and validate so it checks for the algorithm so you should also use this use unzip option so i'll be showing you why you should use this option as well and the method and something like that which i generally don't use and you need to provide the file a zip file uh, which you want to crack to so let's let me show you uh, how you can do that so f crack zip okay so f crack zip uh, let's go with a dictionary based attack so uh, and you need to provide an option hyphen p so in the dictionary based attack you need to provide some kind of uh, what you call uh, some kind of a word list so i'm using rocky.txt you can see it's showing me an autocomplete here but uh, i'm using rocky.txt but feel free to use any word list of your choice okay so you can see how i did is simple so f crack zip hyphen d for the dictionary based attack capital d to be precise and hyphen p uh, and i provided my uh, what you call a tech, uh, the word list and then the secret dot zip so if i hit enter so you can see it is showing me a problem like it is telling me like all are the possible passwords but this is not what it is so 
uh, if you remember carefully there is an option called as hyphen u so this hyphen u option what it does is like it tries to unzip okay so once it, it take a word from the word list and it tries to unzip with that particular password and if it is showing up then it is going to tell you like it is uh, the thing so let me hit enter so now we can see you won't be getting any kind of issue here so once you can only thing that you can see is like the cracked password so since this is a long list so even though it's done so java101 is the password of the secret.zip file so you successfully cracked it okay and if you want to find out the verbose like what are the files or something like that you can add an option hyphen uh, small b and uh, generally for all tools you can see it all it found a file called a secret.txt and you can see the uh, cpu usage everything something like that and we already got the password and again you got the password so what you can do is like you can unzip secret.zip and you need to provide 101 and if I do an ls here, uh, you can see there's a secret.txt. So if I do a cat secret.txt, uh, and now we now we go. So I created this credential. So so this is the password. So this is the password for NSSS. So in the scenario as well, I got uh, like the same way. So I got the passwords for an, uh, for a user. So uh, whose name is something different, John or something like that. And uh, I used the same password for uh, SSH, and I got initial access and then i did the sudo hyphen l and i got an access as well it's an easy attack but the main part is like how uh, effective you are okay so i found the file this particular file on ftp and um, then i cracked it so let's uh, this is how the dictionary based attack works so let me show you how uh, you can do the brute force attack as well so i'll it, it i'll be not showing you everything but uh, let me show you something like that how you can do that basically a hyphen b and hyphen c and you need to uh, in quotes you need to provide the value so let us assume that your password consists of a letter so small a and or capital a or small a so small a represents all the small alphabets and one represent the digits and capital a represents all the capital alphabets and whatever it is and uh, you need to provide the zip file uh, or sometimes you can provide the length as well like uh, you can provide whatever the length you want but i'll just show you the example that's it don't take it like uh, something like that and uh, you can provide hyphen u it is the best way and let me hit enter so it it won't be doing up anything cause uh, brute force attack we all know like you can see my system is uh, doing some weird sounds here so i'll just hit ctrl c here okay uh, or control z okay so you can see it takes up a lot of resources and uh, you can add something like length as well so length uh, if you want to so sometimes you might be having a length like let us assume that your length is something like uh, java 101 j a v a 101 so it's seven characters so i can add something like uh, uh, hyphen l and uh, seven to eight characters okay so the length of the password something like that and you can hit enter and uh, length is also can be used there so that's a cool thing but uh, i uh, like if there is a chance try to crack it with the help of some kind of a word list like this brute force attacks like uh, if you are having some crazy amount of gpus and stuff it, it is going to be fine but uh, or else you'll be facing it will take a lot of time okay so and then uh, the, those are some basic stuff and let's try to do this with some kind of uh, let's go back uh, okay so we have a file here so let's change it to the uh, i already have i already told you that we have some kind of uh, at 7z and guys you can see uh, this 7z is kind of bit new so uh, like i'll be showing you uh, some other tools how you can use uh, those tools in order to crack some different file formats as well but 7 7z dot 7z kind of uh, files will not like in the real time you might not be seeing them because it's third party application so you will not get 7z uh, 7z or whatever it is on the machine you need to install it separately so what happens is like in the production network so they only install the third part application at, at utmost uh, usage okay so like they don't want to give some kind of compromises and stuff so mostly you'll be finding dot zip or dot rare files and uh, with the help of this fcrack zip so you'd be successful be able to crack those passwords so you can do uh, that via a brute force attack or a dictionary based attack it's completely your choice but personally i prefer like if you are doing a capture the flag most probably the rocky.txt file is what like like almost all the passwords will be in the rocky.txt so you can use that but in the real time you might be required to create your own dictionary at uh, dictionaries like wordless or sometimes you need to do the brute force attack so 
do whatever it requires to and uh, that's it for this video so i hope you understood how you can use this app crack zip so uh, if you really like it do share with your friends and uh, this is satvik signing off uh, i'll meet you in the next video thank you